Hi everyone, my name is Tom, and I'm about to do an unboxing of a new toy. It is the Unitree Robotics Go 2 Pro Unit. So uh, my history with this company is that I run um, just a simple company, you know. We make toilet lifts, and we exhibit at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. And last year at CES, I saw a com the company Unitree. They had a booth near my booth. And Unitree had the Go One robot dog. And, you know, I like dogs. I had a dog when I was a younger man and uh, it died suddenly and it kind of broke my heart to be honest with you. Um, and then a few years later I had kids and my oldest son is very, very allergic to dogs. So he couldn't have another dog. So I always thought about getting a robot dog. The Sony Ibo um, was kind of cool, but not very functional and kind of small. And then um, I saw the Unitree robot dog and I really liked it. But I also, over the span of the CES shows, like four or five days, I got to know the people at Unitree and they advised me that if I just waited a few months, that the new version of the Go dog, Go 2, was gonna have significant improvements. So I did wait and I put in a pre-order and uh, it's here, it's here now. I think I might be one of the first people to get one. So I am making this unboxing video. Uh, on the Unitree website, you can buy the Go 2. I think you can still buy the Go 1, but you can buy the Go 2. There's a standard model, there's a pro model, and there's an EDU model. The EDU model is, I think, fully programmable and has extra sensors to make that happen. It's also quite a bit more money. I did not buy that one. I didn't buy the standard model. I bought the Pro model because on the promise that the Pro model has a smart follow function. So essentially you can take it for a walk and it's supposed to sort of heal behind you. I thought that was a good feature. So I spent a little extra money for it. Then also at CES, I saw the controller they used to control the dogs, and um, that's a separate purchase as well. So I ordered that. So inside the box, there's another box and some foam. I think the foam takes up the space where the um, oh, heavy boy, robot dogs aren't light. I'd say this probably weighs 35 pounds. So there's that piece. Not sure what that is. Oh, it says Unitree fit the calibrated block to calf and thigh as shown in the picture. I guess you must use it to calibrate the leg of the dog. Here's the controller. I'll hold that closer. And then I'm guessing this might be a battery ship, ship separately. So there's the controller. Uh, if I remember correctly, it has a bunch of buttons that you can control the dog from your phone, but I think the controller is a better thing to get. And I believe the pro unit might have a small like beacon that you can carry with you so that it follows you around. And then, so here's our battery. All right, I've never done an unboxing video, so pardon me if I don't do this stuff right. But I think the next thing I should do is open this up, right? unboxing stop talking and take it out of the box Tom so um, I'm pretty excited about this the go to uh, has lidar which is a pretty awesome laser type sensor to sense its environment around and uh, I, I saw people open go one dogs and the box inside looked like styrofoam but this just looks a little more durable than that See, you think robot dogs are girls or boys? So my dog before Daisy was a girl. So I'm kind of thinking my robot dog, well, Daisy was a beagle. She wasn't very girly, you know, because she was like a, like a hound dog, but she was sweet. And uh, so there you go. But this. I guess it's styrofoam, but it feels like it has like a coating on it to make it maybe a little more durable. Pop open these little fasteners. It has wheels too. 
yeah, this I think is a little upgrade. Ooh, I think we're getting kind of serious here. I'm getting a little nervous. Like, what's a decent amount of money um, to buy this thing? So, oh, this must be the charger cord. And it looks like we got a USB cord and a manual for it. I hope that uh, it's understandable. It's wrapped in a static bag, I guess. And I'm just gonna go for it, I guess. Can you see it okay? I think that's okay. I gotta push this back. And, and well, here's the handle. Let's see what happens when I lift it. I haven't seen a lot of pictures of it close up. Like that LiDAR sensor is interesting to me. There is a cage, but it spins. So that might not be good around little kids. We'll find out. This apparently, the you know, I imagine it's battery hole. And I don't know much else. There's some things that say remove before use. I can figure that out. Just got to set it down there. What else we have? Oh, I think this might be a stand. Yep, seems to fit. Here's the beacon. There we go. All right, I believe this is the smart follow beacon. It's like that. So you can see that, um, it's got, I believe if you clip it, it has a little clip, you clip it to your waist, it will follow you, you know? And then from the show, it has like a little Nintendo kind of controller, directional controller. So say you're walking through a doorway and the dog's healed off to one side, I think you can use this to override and make it move the direction you want to move it. So I think that's going to be pretty handy. I'll read more about the controls, but I think personally, I think this is going to be one of the more useful controllers. The other one might be useful for like doing tricks and stuff, but if you want to go for a walk and I want to go for a walk, I like to pick up trash. That's my hobby. So I want to go for a walk with the dog and have it carry like a little trash bin on its back while I throw the trash into the bin. And I think that would be a lot of fun. Don't ask me why. My son thinks I bought it just to flex on people, which um, he's probably right. He knows me pretty well. And uh, I certainly don't dress nicely and I'm nothing much to look at, but I do like to flex the tech. Unitree Robotics, Go To Air and Go To Pro. Oh yeah, the Air is what the base one's called, the Go To Air. Well, that's in Chinese. Yeah, it shows some of the different functions that uh, each one comes with. Oh, apparently the Pro model, so, uh, all models have basic movement and action. They also have a condition indication, I guess, uh, you know. They have uh, intelligent over there upgrades. They use the Unitree Go app, which I haven't installed, so I'll probably have to do that soon. They use uh, Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth connections, and they have intelligent avoidance. I imagine the LiDAR helps with that. The Pro also adds that it has 4G image transmission, so it also has the intelligent side follow system. That's what we're talking about with like the heel system. And it has voice interaction and it has a strap. Um, how to use it. Talks about the shipping box. I probably should have read this before I unpacked it. 
how to unpack it. I think I did okay. How to pack it. Uh, how to prepare your robot. Lay the go-to on a flat surface. Insert the battery pack into the side of the robot. Pay attention to the direction with the power switch up. Um, oh, it says body placement is important. Please make sure the robot is on a flat surface before you start it up. That the robot's abdominal support pad is flat on the ground. That the robot's body is lying on the ground horizontally without any tilting. That the robot's lower legs are in a fully retracted state as shown in the picture. Oh yeah, it likes it to have like be squatting down. Okay, start up. Well, let's do that. I'm making progress. I'm sorry if the video's taking a while. I, uh, I'm no electronics expert. I'm just a guy who likes robot dogs. So it wanted to be sort of in this position, like on its belly. Yeah, like that. But this leg's supposed to be on there. Ooh. Boy, this is like wrangling a real dog. <laughs> I remember. Remember when I had a dog. They don't like to get into positions that you want them in. Okay, I think, judging by my diagram, in the right way. Oops, I don't want this. Yeah. Like All right, I think that's how it's supposed to be. Body, all right, start to go to after the robot is placed according to the requirements. Start it up according to the following steps. Press the go to power switch for briefly for one time, just one time. Then press the power switch and switch for two seconds or more. Once, and then for two seconds or more. Oh, the fan turned on. So there's a head indicator light. Yep, light is green. Oh, it takes two minutes. All right, staying out of the way in case it pops me in the chin, you know? Oh, you can't even see it. Oh man, what a terrible camera person I am. I'm sorry, folks. I positioned the robot in this position, then I pressed the power button. I see flashing. Let's go over here and we'll look at the, the light on its head. It has a lot to do with its status. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. It's alive, folks. It's alive. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Now I don't, I didn't get a charge, charger going or anything. It said to shut it off, you have to put it in the prone state. But guess what? I didn't charge the controller or anything. I don't have the app on my phone. I'm way behind. Let's see. I'm gonna get out this controller. Oh, geez. I got this thing now, but I think your phone's supposed to go in here. And uh, guess what I'm using to record the video, so. Let's see, what else do I have of this thing? I think that's gonna. Oh, it does work. Well, folks, that's my uh, unboxing video for the Unitree Robotics Go 2. I'm sorry I took so long. I'll try to edit it and fast forward through some of the sections. But uh, anyone who thinks, I know that when you've never seen one of these things before, and before I went to CES, I had never seen the Go 1 robot. And I was a little skeptical that A, it existed, B, that it had any functionality or anything like that. Well, I, um, like I said, I was within 100 feet, my booth to their booth, and I saw the robot walking around day in and day out, just entertaining crowds and working hard. They only had one of them there, and it lasted all of CES, which is a bit of a endurance test. So um, I ordered it, and they told me to wait for the Go 2, because it's going to have big improvements. So, um, so that's what I did. So 
I'll try to make a couple more videos. I'm posting them just on my company um, uh, Facebook page, uh, my company YouTube. I make toilet lifts. Uh, they sort of they use electric actuators. They're not at all as smart as a robot dog, but uh, but I'm just in the sort of tech business. I'm an engineer, mechanical engineer, um, and I uh, just sort of like this stuff. So so um, so say hi to my new robot dog. I'm taking name suggestions. Um, my old dog's name was Daisy that I loved very much. And my son had a, a little robot we call Buster. So I'm considering naming this guy Duster, Daisy and Buster. We'll see. Thanks everybody. Talk to you soon. I'm Tom from Dignity Lifts. And uh, maybe I'll just try to shut it down and see what happens.